So today we'll be going around Tanjong Pagar and we'll be showing you some of the landmark and activity that goes on in this district. Let's go! celebrating its 130th anniversary this year. It's one of the oldest Taoist temples in Singapore and visitors come here to worship the city god and also conduct ghost marriages. Constructed in 1958, this church was originally a cinema called the Metropole Theatre. Back then, movie tickets would sell for as little as one dollar and it attracted many locals, especially couples going on a movie date. Amoy Street Food Centre is known for its all-time favourite and new concept stores. Built in 1983, this food centre is a crowd favourite because of its affordability compared to the expensive eateries nearby. What do you think about like since like this area now becoming more and more developed like with all those commercial yeah, buildings? So do you yeah. think there's like a loss in cultural, loss in heritage around um, this area? So far it's been well maintained. But you know when the buildings get very tall, it becomes like New York, oh. as opposed to you know like London where it's low rise, it's nicer. Um, so yeah, there is a downside to having too many tall buildings. Okay. And you're always in the shadow of tall buildings. Uh. Then at some point you don't see the sky anymore. what do you think of having like monuments like these, like Chinese temples or like this? This, this is so important for, for me when I come to a new country. This is what I want to see. So like to see historical buildings or buildings that were important to the population you know, in the past. Um, and once this is gone, you lose the history. Yeah. So this is just really important and these areas, if we can preserve them, it's, it's the only way that as an outsider you can get a feel of what the area may have been like in the past. And you can sort of imagine what the streets smells like yeah. and you know, felt like and how alive they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 